right, Nana. Can you show me what your, show me your nails? <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Cool. Happy Mid Autumn Festival, everyone. The whiteboard out, which means it's time to plan the year. Next, we already have hot, um, spicy beef soup. Last stretch of, I said stretch because I was looking at my stretch mark lotion. <laughs> Last stretch of the pregnancy. 28 weeks, y'all. Hi everyone, I can't believe another month has just passed by. Doesn't it feel like 2021 is going by super quickly? Before we get into what we've been up to this past month, I want to share with you one of my monthly favorites, and that's my monthly therapy meetings with BetterHelp. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Honestly, it doesn't matter where I am, like right now I'm actually at my family vacation. I will always make time for these monthly mental check-ins. BetterHelp is so easy to use. It will assess your needs and match you with your licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is available for clients worldwide. You can either communicate with your counselor via message or phone. For me, I prefer my monthly video sessions with my counselor. BetterHelp also makes it easy to switch counselors if you need it. It is more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Visit betterhelp.com slash asianbossgirl, that's better H-E-L-P, and join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with an experienced professional. We have a special offer for our subscribers to get 10% off your first month when you go to betterhelp.com slash asianbossgirl. For now, let's get back to our vlog. Hello everyone and friends. We are currently at our ABG retreat and this is day one or night one. Today's very productive. We got a lot of things on already. Yeah. We are gonna still record an episode. Mm -hmm. You can tell we're productive by Janet's bun. That's the EGF bun. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we're recording an episode about being a wedding guest. We go on these retreats to kind of like think big picture and figure out our strategy for the next year or the next six months for us. But yeah, we're here. Yay! You're having uh, Italian food. This is a sad looking pizza. Got some chicken on the side, some pasta, beet salad. We just finished recording for an hour. We're done with day one. Yay! And we're gonna watch The Bachelor Paradise. <laughs> okay, sorry. So we're gonna have Hulu here at the hotel. You, especially so, you know, when they have the ropes. So we might go our separate ways. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, now. Excited. <laughs> It's like grass is greener. Obviously not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch has arrived. Huh? Meeting continues over lunch. And we are back from lunch and we have the whiteboard out, which means it's time to plan the year. Next year. And, and we're all in our PJs because we cozy as F <laughs> and being productive. Here's uh, PJ girl number one. Asian Oscar on my Shopify.com. Yeah, it doubles as a as a PJ and a casualty. A casualty. <laughs> a casual T-shirt. This Dutch baby is freaking bomb, dude. Feeding my baby. There you go, Dutch baby. You shaky? <laughs> Dutch baby to Asian baby. <laughs> we just finished. We're wrapping up day two. And eating some leftovers while we wait for a pizza. I'm uploading our episode for tomorrow. Wow. Hey. Janet's a uh, never achiever and finishes a, a day in advance while Helen and I do it a few hours before. This is our dinner. Right now we got some pizza, some salad, some wings, and some leftovers from yesterday. So we also have uh, some cold foods, a cold creamy pasta, and a cool. soup, a lobster bisque soup, and we don't have a microwave, so this is Mel's um, solution here. Yeah, so we got some hot water. I'm gonna use it afterwards, I don't want to wash my face. I'm just kidding. I can wash and your face gonna, in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak this in here. Heat it up. <laughs> sure, is it closed? Are you sure it's closed? I think it's closed. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, let's come back. Oh, this is like how they warm up baby bottles. See, oh. we, we learn from, you know, other places. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Helen here. Oh, my hair looks 
When they say that pregnancy hair, you get very luscious feeling hair. This might be the best hair that I've had in a long time because I used to dye my hair so much and it would be very, very dry on the ends. I do have to cut this because as you can see, it is dyed on the bottom and I'm getting split ends now, but like this feels good. I haven't had my sleek black natural hair on me in so long and it's just like, you're coming back, I feel you. Anyway, so a little pregnancy update. I am in my third trimester. Crazy. Last stretch of, I said stretch because I was looking at my stretch mark lotion. <laughs> Last stretch of the pregnancy. 28 weeks, y'all. Here's a little view of the baby. Woo! But I did want to say thank you to everyone who sent me DMs and messages from our last video that we put out for ABG. I was feeling very, very overwhelmed then, and although I still feel that way now, I do feel a little bit more prepared. I pulled a couple of all-nighters looking up, you know, necessities that I really need for the baby, and I'm trying to limit the things that I purchase just to the first six months. I am the type of person to kind of over plan everything and just make sure that everything is in place so that I'm not stressed. One of my favorite quotes is, failing the plan is planning to fail. So I'm like, I'm not gonna fail, right? But I know that I can't plan everything. I have to just get the bare necessities for the first six months. Actually, I felt a lot better when I talked to my sister because she has two kids. And she said to me, you know, when our mom had us, my mom used cloth diapers and she definitely didn't have Amazon two-day delivery. She didn't have a lot of the things that we have access to now. So keep that in mind. And that helped me with my perspective of, you know, not buying too much for the baby. So feeling a little bit better now. My body is definitely getting, whoo, girl. It's like boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's like crazy. One thing I'm excited for though, is that my belly button, which is an innie, I don't know if you see. Oh, little belly button. But I'm excited for this, because I can finally see that my stomach is stretching enough for it to like start coming out a little bit. And I've never cleaned my belly button thoroughly before. Like I will like, you know, like I will get around like the outerish area, but I will never dig in there, because it's not sanitary to do that. But now I'm like, telling Philip like, yo, I'm so excited to clean my belly button. But in any case, today I am going to get some work done, have on a very comfortable outfit. And I also have some garden steaks, which I will be putting down into my green beans. And then Philip's gonna come home a little bit earlier today so that we can go for a walk. I actually bought this earlier today from um, CVS. And what's crazy is that I used to buy so many of these back in the 90s, not to age myself, but I just did. But I used to have so many of these and I haven't bought one in so long. And I bought this one for stylistic purposes, which is crazy. Fashion is definitely coming back from the 90s and even this, like I used to wear this in the 90s too. Oh my gosh, it's like baby Helen just with a baby and trying to be on trend. I don't even know how you put this on anymore. Let me try. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. All right, I'll do it again. All right, so I am in my backyard now and I have been wanting to add these steaks. Not the meaty steaks. I have been wanting to add these steaks to my green beans so that they can start climbing up. They've been sprawling all over the ground here. We just got this basket from Ikea. And honestly, it kind of looks like a hat. Let's go. All right, this is what I got for now. I'm gonna keep building this through the end there. Here's one green bean that's growing. These are long green beans. So it is around eight o'clock now and we are taking a walk around our neighborhood. And in Hoi San Wa, we call this Sanbu. What do you call this? Sanbu. Sanbu. <laughs> we, have a, we, have a, we have an app called Skylight View. We're trying to figure out if that's a star or a planet. That star. That's Jupiter, no? No, Jupiter's back there. <laughs> Wait, what? Jupiter's over there. Oh, that's Jupiter? Yeah, that's where you're Sick. You see that, right? 
We're picking Alana up from school. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Hey, Nana, where are we going now? We're going to get our nails done. And why? Because I got my sleeping chart all. Because you are a big girl and a good girl and you slept by yourself, right? We're going to get our nails done now and change into your slippers, right? Can I see your slippers? Yeah. Oh my god, they have these special chairs for little kids. What do you want to do? Which one do you want, baby? Oh, she wants the pink one. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to get your nails done? <laughs> With these altos. Choice paralysis. All these colors. All right, Nana. Can you show me what your show me your nails? <laughs> wow. You got your nails done. Did you get your feet done too? I see. Your toes. It's Sunday night and I'm visiting my parents to have dinner with them. So my dad always cooks up some food. Right now we are going to be having some hot pot, which is one of my favorite things. Okay, daddy, you're making the sauce. Yeah. What's in your sauce? Oh my God. <laughs> uh -huh. The sesame oil, mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, you know, the garlic, uh -huh. and the garlic. That's a shit ton of garlic. And, uh, yeah, and the saute sauce. Saute sauce? Yeah. Mm. In Mandarin called sa ta jiang. Sa ta jiang. So hot pot is a meal that we eat pretty often. It accommodates well for those who like spicy and then those who don't because you can do a split pot. Um, and because I also don't eat meat, but my dad loves beef, we are also able to split the pot this way. So on this side we have hot um, spicy beef soup. And then this side we have, it's like a sour cabbage with some seafood. So there's like squid and fish and frozen tofu. So my favorite is tofu. My dad basically puts it in the freezer and that makes it more firm. And then you defrost it and then put it in a boiling pot of water. And it's yummy. What does this say? What does the character mean? Let me see. Red bean. So it just says a flavor. Dan huang. Oh, red bean egg yolk. Egg yolk, right. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ta da. <laughs> that is dense. Red bean with egg yolk. Mm. It's pretty bright out. I am currently by the pool with my family and it's currently pool time. Um, I love being by the swimming pool because if you guys don't know this, but back um, preschool, my mom would actually sign me for swimming classes. So when I would take my afternoon nap with like my friends in preschool, they would wake me up half an hour early so I could do swimming classes in their backyard. But um, ever since then, I just always did swimming every summer. So swimming is my only activity I actually do. So I decided to be by the pool. I told my brother to actually time how fast I could actually swim across. And let's see if I could set a record. A little story. Um, our friends, we always go to like Palm Springs every summer or do something. And ooh, the wind's really windy out here. But a lot, two years ago, we decided to host like a competition between Phil and I to see who could swim the fastest. And your girl won. So I would say swimming is a sport that I feel relatively confident in compared to like hiking or like volleyball or like basketball. I'm not really good at swimming. It's a different, it's a different sport for me. 
But yeah, I'm gonna hop in the pool and get some laps going. So I'm gonna, so right now I'm gonna swim one lap across. How fast do you think I'll be? So if I were to swim from that end to this end, like if you, were, if you had to bet how much time? Um, I would say three minutes. <laughs> three minutes? Three minutes. How much time would you think? I'm gonna say it's like a minute and a half. Minute and a half? Yeah, that's okay, not that long. How how long? Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Any apple? Yeah. How fast do you think I could swim one, just one straight away? Okay. Five minutes. Five. So. Oh, okay. she, I think she's by said thirty minutes. Thirty <laughs> minutes. Okay, I'm not that bad. Okay, so how about this? Uh, whoever's closest, I buy dessert. Four. Okay. Sound good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I got my trusty goggles. It's got pink. I'm ready to show them how fast I need to be. Ready, set, go. <laughs> so, my brother said, 26.42 Yo, 26 seconds I didn't stretch, apparently I was supposed to So, what could be 26 seconds? Dude, that's the most, I haven't done that much in a while I'm gonna do more now yeah. oh, 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 oh. Alright, so I'm at Anne's house for mid-autumn festival for having a uh, Japanese dinner and we bought some moon cakes so today it's just a family dinner with my family. This is Taiwanese style. Inside is mung bean. Yeah, it's, it's a mung bean. There's two different one is a vegetarian. Oh, vegetarian? And one actually has a little bit of uh, guang pork. Guang pork? Yeah, guang pork. Yeah. Is this traditional for a mid-autumn festival or not? This is not, how should I say, it's not the authentic traditional, yeah. This is a lotus seed. Okay, I'm gonna take one. Okay. I don't know, maybe not as sweet. Normally it's very sweet. Mmm! Mm. Not bad! Cool. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival, everyone! Alright, so we're with my family right now, and we're doing a pit stop because my mom needs to get her passport renewed. And so we're at the Taiwanese consulate. And as we wait for my mom to fill out her paperwork, my brother and I are just reading the books that they have here. It's kind of cool to get in touch with your culture. I picked up this photography book, let me show you. So I'm reading Beyond Beauty, Taiwan from Above by Zi Poling. My brother's reading, a, I think, a contemporary art book. Let's just see what's in this one, though. So these are just different shots of Taipei. You hear my mom in the background. <laughs> wow. Just so cool to see Taiwan in this. And these kind of photographs. I've never seen this type of book before. So Brandon's reading the art book. Which art piece did you like? This one I did. Is he? That Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Cartoon. <laughs> Cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is Taipei 101. And usually during New Year's Eve, they have the fireworks go off, and it's a big, spectacular show. I've never seen it before uh, because last time I was in Taiwan, I was with my grandparents, and I went to make sure I stay up with them, but they fell asleep at uh, 10 p.m. So I fell asleep at 10 p.m. as well. So my goal is actually to watch this uh, New Year's show one day. Um, so hopefully sometime in your future.